The process of making chocolate starts with cocoa beans. Beans from Ghana, the Ivory Coast and Ecuador arrive at the factory dried and fermented. First, the beans are cleaned. Here, all debris, mostly sticks and rocks, is removed by hand and the beans are vacuumed. They also pass under a powerful magnet that removes any metal pieces that may have made the journey with the beans, no matter how small. Thank you. The beans are then roasted at a temperature of 160 degrees for about 30 minutes. Some of the equipment I have found is very old, including this roaster. I love working with these vintage machines. When done, I scoop the beans out through a chute into the cooler. Here, the beans are turned to help dissipate the heat while, at the same time, air is pulled through the beans by a powerful fan. This process quickly cools the beans. The beans have a soft shell that must be removed. So it's off to the winner. Once inside, the beans are cracked and bounced on a metal screen while a precise amount of air is forced through the material. The air sends the lighter outside shell higher and out through the back of the winner to be discarded. The heavier interior pieces of the beans, called nibs, fall out of the front of the machine. The nibs are the core ingredient in chocolate. The nibs are ground two times. In grinder number one for 10 minutes. Then they simply pass through grinder number two. It looks like melted chocolate now, but there is still a long way to go. Calculated by weight, Sugar is added to equal approximately 40% of the total weight, depending on the recipe. Into the mixer, which takes only 15 minutes to do its job. Then it's on to one of my favorite machines, the refiner. Three stainless steel wheels rotate fast to break down all the particles in the mixture. The liquid becomes mostly a fluffy substance because the sugar particles explode and suck up much of the fat. The goal is a smooth chocolate, and so the mixture passes through the refiner at least two times until it measures fewer than 20 microns. I save this refiner from a lipstick factory, but don't worry, I clean it very well. The conch is the most time-consuming step in the process of making chocolate. Once the chocolate is added, two granite stones churn against a granite wall for 12 hours. This removes any trace of bitterness. Then the cocoa butter the natural fat found in the cocoa bean is added along with a natural soy product called lecithin. Both ingredients help emulsify or bond the chocolate. Now the conch churns for another four hours. The chocolate then goes in a tempering machine at approximately 40 degrees Celsius. Then the temperature is lowered to 28 degrees and then raised to 31 degrees Celsius. This is very important as it is mainly responsible for determining the final gloss and hardness of the chocolate. By manipulating the temperature, the cocoa butter is brought to its most stable crystalline form resulting in a hard and shiny chocolate. When ready, the chocolate is poured into the injector which pipes out just the right amount of chocolate into the bar mold. It's banged and shaken to help settle into every nook and crane, then into the fridge for 10 minutes. The bars are then removed from the mold, 
which give the shape and detail, including my signature, and then brought to the wrapping machine. I love this last step, just like Willy Wonka. I magically wrap the bars. In it's a magic process.